If you are an educator or a teacher, then I have something really interesting for you. You can now make your own educational games and introduce them into your classroom. In fact, a lot of students are actually already doing it. So definitely keep watching this video and I will show you exactly how to do it and how easy it is. I am The Withers, the creator of RPG Playground and this is a free tool to make your own games. It runs in your web browser and it runs on Chromebooks, PCs, even on mobile devices like iPhone, iPad. So any device that you have, you can run it. Now let me show you a few examples of educational games that people already created. So first what we do is we go to the website rpgplayground.com and here you get a quick view of how it looks like and how easy it is to like drag and drop scenery into your game and soon I will also show you how easy it is to add actions and interactions in your games. So to see some examples, we go to play and then at the bottom you have educational games. And here you get an overview of first a video of how to quickly make your own games. But first let's take a look at some games that people made. So this first game, Poetry Adventure, it was created by a student and she actually impressed her own teacher. Because on Twitter the teacher said, dang, this is me playing an RPG, my student made to explore her understanding of the giver. So this is really a student that created her own game and introduced it in the classroom. Next up is a game called Kiwi Saver, and it was made by an entire class in New Zealand. And what it does is it teaches the kid about the retirement scheme that is in New Zealand. So let's check that one out. You have a main character that walks around and you can talk to other characters. So in this game, the character says, hey, I'm turning 65 tomorrow and I need to know about retirement. Okay, what you need me to do? Go to the bank and ask about retirement for me, please. So this whole game is about, uh, yeah, some person retiring and the main character, which is the student. He will need to figure out how the retirement works and, and basically learn like that. So this is really fun for the kids, of course. Now, let's take a look at another example. There is another game called the Netherlands game. And this was also introduced by a student in their classroom. They had a project where they had to present their part of history to the classroom. They were split into little groups and this person's group, he had the idea of making a game about it. And this is the result, a game set in Espen in the Netherlands. And here the hero can learn about how it was in the Netherlands back then. So now I will show you how to actually create your own educational game. It's pretty easy, so you don't have to be intimidated by having to write code or anything like that. So when you create a new game, you start with an empty level here and then you can start adding things. So on the left, you have some scenery, so you can start selecting scenery here on the left and then filling up your levels like that. There are multiple maps where you can choose from. from a, for example, you have here some ground tiles that you can use. Once you have the basics of a level, you can start adding actors. So let's pick one. Let's drag him here. Let's pick another one. So what you can do now is you can start adding actions to this. So if we click on this actor, we can change what happens when you bump into him. So we click when touched. And here there are already some existing actions, which is the hero says hello and then this actor says hi. So if we test it out, we close this dialogue, we can play the game, we go towards the character, hello, hi. All right, so let's change those actions. We go back to edit mode. This one is still selected when touched and then remove the actions. And now we're going to insert an action. First up, who needs to do something? Well, let's just say this actor needs to do something. So we click on it. What does he need to do? He can say something, walk towards somewhere, give choices. So let's pick the give choices. So what does this person ask? So let's just say, how are you doing? And then a possible response that the user can give is, fine 
We add another response. Not so good. And we finish. So now this actor asks, how are you doing? Fine, not so good. So in case fine, so if the player responds fine, we can insert another action and we can let this person say, that's great to hear. All right, and in case not so good, then we can ask another question like, for example, we can let this person say, what, what happened? Insert another action. Now let's the hero say something. The hero says, I don't want to talk about it. All right. Okay, we close it, we play. How are you doing? And now you have a choice. We can pick not so good. And then what happened? And then the hero responds, I don't want to talk about it. So these are really the basics to create your own game. You can really see how easy it is. If your game is finished, you can publish your game here at the bottom. Of course, save your game first and then you can publish it. And then you can let your students play this game. Of course, another way is like in the case of the New Zealand game where the teacher actually let her own students create the game and then the others can play it. Now, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below this video. If you like this video, then definitely please give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to see the new things that I'm developing for this, or you want to have a better idea of how to do things, then definitely subscribe to this channel. So go to rpgplayground.com. I will leave a link in the description below. So just scroll down, take a look at the link, click it, register for free, create your game for free. So go ahead, try it out and have fun.